If we had the time, we would have read from Ecclesiastes. He said, Your garment should always be white. That is to show your communion with God. You as a person. The second. That you should live happily with the wife you are married in your youth. That is the hope. So the three point The Bible says anything you your hand find to and do it well. That is the work of the Lord. These things are three. Sanctification for you as a person. Then Yahweh. And then your hope. Before God's work. People have turned this upside down. These things is so chronological. Your life, your life should be in order. Your life should be in sanctification. That your life should, you know, your work with God should be smooth. Then, and then your hope. Before God's work. But you can see that in our days, people have turned this outside down. Many, many times the home will be scattered. But you see him running God's work. You have turned that outside down. Many times the life is not in order. But you see the same man doing God's work. But the word of God cannot be changed. If you go to the book of Timothy, where they are asking, Bishop, that you desire the work of an office of a bishop is still the same thing. That a bishop must be blameless. That actually started with the life of the man. Whether the choir or the pastor's wife or the pastor or an elder, everybody. The, your life must be blameless. The second thing the Bible said. And that the man should be a man of one wife. You can see that even the second thing is still talking of the whole. I think you, you understand what I'm saying. You cannot see order of God. The first thing is what? My life should be blameless. My garment should always be white. This clothes they are talking about is the clothes of life. What is a kondoa lunge or character? Oh, na moto. Na she a kono de kam lo uma. Uma wo. Seba dono no wo. Ne kwa dono shami ya kaya. The second thing is your home. Do ne kia zuita wasi mahipo wasi shevis. 
In our generation, many homes are scattered. Many, many times we go to preach or the home. Many, many times we go to preach of the home. What do you say? Homes are scattered. Like we said yesterday. Luke yaka ko ipesiga ahi muji me. The message of the home is left behind for a long time now. Found mundele tomna. But God is reviving His work. Shall we so solo yasi? We want to put our homes in order. Shall to nify uyamba kusu yojo shall to muteba. You you know that our houses are closing our mouths to talk on God's work. Because our homes are not good, we you know we can't have the boldness to preach or to do God's work correctly. Many many times, if we even if we gather the boldness to preach, the congregation is saying, "Did you preach to your you know your children?" This evening we want to see this. To train our children or to groom them in the fear of the Lord. I know of the truth is actually God's mercy that will help you on your own children. I have known the shame that the ministers of the gospel are passing through because of their own children. Our children have shown their bad behavior, their bad character, even in the church of God and also in our communities, the pastor's children. These are helping to discover that marriage is a, is a big, is a work. So, for you to just marry as a tradition and give birth to children, that was what God was not... That's not the mind of God. He said no to that. So it's not just that alone. This evening teaching. We want to look on the side of the children. The plan of God concerning children. And the great work that is laid upon the, 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 the father or the, the the parents of the children. And the great judgment await for us, those of us that are parents. It's not just to give birth to children and throw them away, throw them in the world. Each, each of your children, since you are the one that brought him or her. You must settle yourself down this evening. You should know that something terrible is coming. You that you have brought a child in this world, there's a fear. There's a terrible thing that will us. If the children we are giving birth to, we are not able to bring them into God's kingdom. There's a very big question that waits for you. And the heavens will also wait for your own response. Why you are why the reason why you brought him into this world? The reason why you brought the girl, the boy in this world. Uh -huh. And you are not able to take the responsibility even to train a child as being your own children. You are following me gradually. I do pray that the Holy Ghost will help you as you go back and pick your own children.
If I hear you have children in this world, let me see your answer. Do we have people outside our children also? We thank God for the blessings of for, for the blessings of children. We'll look into that. God is interested on the children you brought here. Because there was a purpose why God brought them. When I came to this understanding, I was like saying, ah, how I wish even to give birth to a child, I should even wait. The work on that is very heavy, more than just giving birth. I read a scripture in Luke chapter 16. Luke chapter 16. I want to show you something there. I hope so far. I hope you know the story Jesus spoke on the rich man and Lazarus. I hope you remember that story. Or you heard that story. The Bible says, The rich man also died. And he was buried. 23. And in hell, he lifts up his eyes. And nigga Abraham Twenty-three. Yes. And in hell, he lifts up his eyes, being in torment, and seeth Abraham afar off, and Lazarus in his bosom. And he cried and said, Ahi Abraham Tele Father Abraham Ahi Father Abraham Have mercy on me. Tini Lazaro a chiva wota shimge have a surum nobo and sent Lazarus that he may dip the tip of his finger in the water and pull my tongue. For I am tormented in this flame. You hear that cry. I hope you remember Abraham that we, we, we spoke about. Abraham then so say Papa. This Abraham was an old man. I will make a more cool more in Abraham Jesus my yes. From if I want to talk of his generation, from Abraham to Jesus. He called you my cool that twenty-eight generations. Murama Bamoma Shimurama. This one give birth to this one, this one give birth to that and all of them. Before Jesus was not speaking on this thing, he spoke here. You see how several years have passed. Eh? Eh? Are you seeing him? I'm afraid of one thing. That so. That a man that you have brought a man child in fact you are in trouble. Because as I think, as I meditate on this, why is it that several years have passed? Generations have passed. This very man. When he died in hell, when he entered hell, when he was in torment, he remembered his old father. That that 
I wouldn't have been here. Is that Abraham that married and gave birth to us? Is that Abraham that married and gave birth to us? It was Isaac that was his first son. Mama, Yako. That Jacob was born. Yako, Mama. Baba Yuda, who are born in Bajija. Jacob gave birth to the rest. She ungula pashe Mama. Even that one also gave birth. Zanza iko kumakunduka. Until four, uh, twenty-four generations. Be yero Abraham va kuane shinta. Kenu tiri ba be kareyo. It was because he discovered it was Abraham that brought him in this world. One no sona that pashe kiamus. When this young man enter hell. He lift up his eyes and saw Abraham his, his old father. Ahi Abraham. He shouted and said, Abraham. What no market tan when I hear Gamus or Fe Yesu Gala? What was that? A tattoo? Man, I hear on Shin Gamus. If you have a child and the child are going to hell, even if. In, even in hell, that child will be calling your name. Ahi! Oh, Abraham. Abraham. Abraham, father. Father Abraham. You are the one that brought him in this world. Even you are a father. You are the one that brought him. Anybody that has. Giving birth, in fact, you are in trouble. So I don't want to shut that door. Even if you are in heaven, that's your son. We call you in heaven. Oh, we call you in heaven. We call you in heaven. When I saw this, there was a second thought. Whether I shouldn't have, I wouldn't have been given birth. Yeah, so back then, by my mother, we call one more Ugandan. Today we just leave our children and say, mm, no, he has passed my power. I don't know what to do with Mwese. And the worst part of it all is that those of us who are who, who say we are educated. We give them English names. Uh, boy is uh, yeah, his power passed me. There's nothing I can do with him. That's some song. But he boy, la him batang. Is that boy that is more spreading? If you don't work on that boy, he will call you in hell. Church and he, but the sin of Pasha call the sin by his name. That must be the reason why we will give this teaching. We do in our church. Yeah, must be a poor man. Come on, come on. Bye. When I saw this from the scriptures, I carried my hand on my head. Shall me be me be a Abraham? Of the truth is Abraham. Yangi posema shiba huluma shiba huluma be wan yandu. They are married and gave birth to children and children before this one also came. I think I'm I'm, I'm gathering your heart on your children that you're Shut you are married because. You can't just leave them like that. I don't know what you can hear me. God has reason why He brought them in this world. So always a low share man can If we have time, I would have tell us. Before you marry and give birth to children in this world. Over the phone with number one of the That you you are supposed to know that before that child came, there's something that God had written concerning that child before that child was released. You would have asked. What was written concerning him? I can't this and say you know how to be blown game. There are people like that in the Bible, several of them. Man, no care, she is up by my one. If I give you an example of Jesus, you wouldn't have been clear. In my years, even before Jesus was born, an angel of God told Mary, Oh, yeah. You will be pregnant. You give birth to a son. You give him a name, Jesus. The meaning, he. 
We save his people from their sin. Even before Jesus was born, it was written. Do you know that? Are you aware? The children you are giving birth to, do you take it down to know what was written concerning them? Before John was born, something was written. Even Tina Jepa. She is named. An angel wrote one this son when he's born. He will be a, he will be a famous man for God. He will turn the children's heart to their fathers. And the fathers to their children. Before he was born. He said to European. There was a king, European. Bantum. He scattered. In fact, he confused God's children. He brought an he brought an idol. What do you call that? He brought bar. Altar of Bethel. And they were giving sacrifice on this altar. How oh, did the prophet? God sent his own prophet okay. and said to him, A day will come. They will give birth, they will give birth to a son in David's house. And his name will be called Yosha. And his name will be called Yosha. He will give sacrifice to the priests that are giving sacrifice here. The, everything concerning him was written. Before they know this, it lasted 100 plus. Even before this, this child was born. Something concerning him was written before his birth. But let me ask you these questions. Do you know anything concerning your son or your children? What heaven have written concerning him? Sometimes we celebrate our birthday or our children's birthday. I did not say no to that. But what are you rejoicing for? I worship God. That the purpose in which God has brought him in this world is fulfilled, or what are you celebrating? So how one each child that that should come in this world? Maybe we shall tell you. Maybe I'll start i start a far. Even as you are sitting here, let me ask you. Even yourself, do you know what was written concerning your life? In the volume of the books. You even you, there's something that was written concerning you. Biblo yila kwale kwa ungesha wela. Yes. But you should know that. Because if you don't know that yourself, the great purpose of God I'm speaking about, you can't discover them. So the first work for a repentant man for the, the, the mind of God concerning you, that you should ask God. God, why was I born again? Or what was the purpose for bringing me? So give for Every man, every woman must know this secret. Are you clear? God will give us his grace in Jesus name as long as we are alive it's not late hallelujah amen you know what the Bible says gives joy gives consolation the Bible says God said eh? Eh? that that door a living door 
is better than lion that is dead, a dead lion. As long as you are alive, there is hope. Amen. That is hope. Are we not better than the dead lions? As long as you are alive. Pray that God's spread on us. The word of God has not come to judge us. It's not yet judgment. God just wants to open your eyes to discover your future. As you are a parent, don't just live anyhow or a relaxed life as if there's nothing coming ahead. There is a work we must start. That is why I want you to start it on your very life. I know there are people that know what you are saying. If I mention this, the name of this man, you know him. When he started his home, his wife, Pastor Yaro, was a letter Yochi. Maybe you are read Zakpunen books. This woman was a medical, even though she was a medical doctor, she knew the secret. So When they started giving birth to children, bearing children, told his wife, the reason why God brought you to my house is to it's not just to be, you know, Doing medical work to collect money. It's for you to, you know, train our children, the children that God has given to us in this world. I don't want any of my, you know, my child to go to hell. And the maturity should not be a reason why preachers would be shouting and saying, Oh, they are useless children. The world is already spoiled. Let it not be that the children are brought, I just brought them to add to the, the decay, the, the, you know, the nonsense that is already going on in the world. You cannot see how God will open somebody's eye, you know, to see, to see afar off. But our own eyes are closed. You we are will blind. See. You will see. Our problem. My wife is giving birth. Even as she's giving birth, she has not given me a baby boy. Whether my wife is not giving birth. The issue of yeah, giving birth to children is it had become, in fact, is all of We don't know the secret behind that. And the purpose of God for child bearing. Trust God that we repent on our wrongdoings. Anywhere we have thrown our children, we must bring them back. We will fulfill God's we will fulfill God's mind on our children. In Jesus' name. Before we teach you how to handle children at home. I want, I want us to read a scripture in the Bible. And I'm desiring that God has spoken to us. And God would have given us repentant heart. That the things we have done in our, in our ignorance that God will show us mercy. Amen. 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 Okay. 
Some of us will go to the book of Job. I want us to go to the book of Job. Job 39. Job 39. This was also a lamentation of God. All the things I'm saying here is concerning we parents. So we not just to you know embarrass us or no. And God will help us with repentance. You will kill with your Verses 13. Well, she <laughs> You have not got it. All right. That's it to give us thou the goodly wings unto the peace coats, or wings and 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 feathers unto the unto the ostrich, which liveth her eggs in the earth, and warmeth them in dust. And forget it that the foot may crush them, or that the wind, the wind, the wild beast may break them. She is hardened against her young ones, though they were not hers. Her labor is in vain without fear. Because God had deprived her of wisdom, neither had he imparted to her understanding what time she lifted up herself on her she scorned the, the horse and his rider amen amen hallelujah amen. praise the lord may god give his blessings upon this world in Jesus. this saying is not straight even as you listen to this, it's so corner corner like this. It's not straight. But there's wisdom. The Bible says, the wisdom of God, the honor of God, is to is to cover things. But the the the, 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 the honors of the king's honor is to reveal. The things that are covered. I do pray that God will reveal it to us. So I want to tell you this. I want to discuss this bed. They call it ostrich. 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 Yes, ostrich. Ostrich. Yes. Ostrich. Yes. Mega. This bed. Empty here now in Kalentiabe. As I'm standing here, this bed is taller than myself. Just his leg from from the foot to the to, to the west. Are you hearing me? This bed is very tall. And it's very huge. Giant. This bed is it can roll more than horse. 
something is lacking on this bed. So many things I want to discuss on this bed is concerning parents. People the Bible says, this bed called outreach. God deny it of wisdom. What this bed does is a bed in the you know in the in the, in the desert. No Yes, it can. The 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 mayor can mount it. Yes, that is it. Eh? No count on. He can mount it. She actually jib ya. And he will conceive. The man was over there. Yes. But when I hear mayor, but when he's going, attach him. He will ask. Shawara. On the sand. Manakara ye. And goes away. So when I wear jib there's an end between the bed and the egg. Just leave the, the egg there and went go away. There's no wisdom. There's no sense whether another Emma may match it or crush it. She or that or Navandia, Chila, yeah, Hamburger. Or a hunter may crush the, you know, the egg and break it. She, Yamigene, Yava Toji, the Emina, Mura, in Fenuga. Or another animal may just come and, you know, devour the egg. The how I will do Chila, Hinya, Shawa. This bird will just leave that egg on the sand. Jenea, a cake, a move a shach in her. As chicken, we ash on. In, is it in Kubet? Yes. On the earth. Naha nyone uru hachiga. This bed doesn't, you know, incubate the eggs. He he lay. Lay. As he lay the eggs. Come send him a young old teshanyara. Is the heat from the sun. Oh, he hits the ground, the so the you know the, the ground. If the warm, if the woman is, is if the egg is overwhelmed by the sun, oh, the egg may spoil. The, me, the egg may got rotten. But you tell Oh, you tell I want to chill it, kill it. Save Gambikayo. I know who this shan send them. Bound you, Aluhinyala. Man about do it. It's a wound. This egg is, is you know, struggling on its own. If the sun is not much on it. It may struggle on its own and then hatch it. So we do while surviving even one one or a do kitchen and then me like Jake Barbie. There's no possibility of the 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 you see Kavin Tesenega come on and teach it away itself where I want ostrich, I want Kunkovine. Never thought of a mono. There's no any sign whether this bird was the one that laid this egg. There's no concern. She's, she's less, the bird is less concerned about everything. In fact, I want to do one 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 he would just go away or sometimes even fight. He treats them very harshly. As if he's not the one that gives birth to them. How much to him all the time? There's just no concern. Just concern. That is actually resembling some parents that are here. Tell me, come and marry. But we live in Kumasi. Parents, shy young men. In our own generation. Even as we hear them from afar and here, even if you 
you have a tattoo, a big tattoo in the church. Even if you have a very big name in the politics. Even if you have a very big tattoo in that your church. Madam, Madam, listen to me, let me tell you this. The new name heaven is calling you. The, the popular name in heaven. God is calling you ostrich. Old one. Old ostrich. There are parents sitting there at home listening to me. Now that we are getting into the night, if you are not ostrich, you would have gathered your children. But let me ask you, where are they? Where are your children? Where are they? Where are your children? Where are they? Where are your children? Where are they? Where that is how so many parents are giving birth to children and they just throw them away in this world. No care, nothing. They will just be moving about. They don't know what their children eat. They don't know anything about their children. They don't care the friends their children keep. As I give birth to children, that's all. Us riches. They will just give birth to plenty of children like grass. Some are looking for just a child. But you go to these us rich families, they give plenty, you know, they give birth to plenty of children like grass. Because the good guy, church, the Bible said, I don't the of the God has denied them of knowledge. So many, my mother, pushy. So many parents, back of they lack knowledge. Before we will be sure we walk back. They don't know how to bring their children to themselves. So we It's to be harsh with their children. So they spoil them and scatter their lives. They don't even care to know where their children are going. Some days in our home we are shocked. We slept. Maybe you know past 12 midnight. 3 a.m. Small, little, little children. Hey, Their parents were sleeping. They passed and went to Inyongo Chin Kombo Kuwangwa Chacho. Little, little children around 3 a.m. Now so far, go go go. If you want to know this, us uh, rich parents, they thought she would kill me. Just wait for Christmas time. And she knew me here. During this time, I don't normally know what happened to the parents. Every parent can remember about the little Small, small, little, little children. They are, they are going about Christmas. She about the New Year. Oh, they are going about New Year. Oh, no, even minister children are there. They are just going for useless gathering. You don't care. You don't know where they will be arrested and, and defied and spoiled. They don't care. They must be the most painful aspect of it all, all is that you see in the church of God. We're not ready. 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 we are not ready we are not ready we are not ready we are does not care. See, Martha, see, we just we just throw our children to the world. This bed we just drop its egg 
on the sand. Just for the heat on the sand. Is that heat that we have to have? How can you give birth to a, a child and just throw him to the world? God is angry. Us rich uh, women are very many, very plenty. They are, very many. They are just plenty. Go to their houses or their homes. Empty. Nothing is there. They just give birth to children. I would, I would have said this to us. Even if you, the children you are giving birth to, and they, they are contributed to the, to the, to they are contributed to, to the, to what the evil that is happening in the society. You should be careful. Be careful. Because heaven has so much interest on that. That's the heart of God for our children. But they has committed that work into our hands. That it, it should be us that we should turn our children. That we should be the ones to train our children. That we should be That we should be the ones to train our children. I know Kato, just in the next five minutes. Kato, minute to turn. Man? My wife will be coming out to teach us how to train children at home. That's what church should be. That we rise up. It's a battle. It's a battle that is against God's church. Anytime I'm saying this and I find I'm disturbed, the reason is because some homes achieve the it's only in your own time that God will recognize. After your after your departure, your very home. There will be nobody in your house that will serve God. May God stop that. That is my concern. It happened to Joshua. Look at Joshua. He, he grew under Moses. He was taught how to train your generation, how to aid the, back, the ones that are coming behind us. This thing, Joshua forgot it. He just knew God and the people that were in his time. He just knew God and the people that were in his time. The, the younger generation were forgotten. There was nobody talking to them. The Bible says, a day comes, Joshua died. And all that generation were gathered unto their fathers. There arose a generation that did not know the Lord. What, what will that happen? It is this omission. If you forget to teach your children like this, and you don't take this to be a serious thing, a day will come that they will look for somebody in your family. He will not, nobody will be found there who will serve God. Because this very thing was omitted also in you. Are you hearing me very well? By God's grace, he, 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 done, so, he, have, he have done something to us in, my, in our family. Baba was our grand, our old father. He taught us Christ. When he was eight years old, I mean four years old. This morning devotion, father was saying he training say at the age of four. Baba was saying the sense of quality of my knee. When you are sleeping, we pour cold water, pour cold water on you. You must wake up. You must sit back, wash your gown. The young sir, we are talking about we should not. I'm on the young. I don't know why it was maybe because he was not going to last long. God helped him so much to train us. 
My father died when I was 17. We are, we are nine in my family. The teachings that our father taught us when we were young. All of us. Everybody in our family is a minister of the gospel. Everybody is a minister of the gospel. There are some in, in my family, if they just come to talk. Discuss the word of God with you is what I cannot do. What we were taught in our youthful age. This nine, all of us. In our own time now. As we are giving birth now, also, God has shown us a secret. Our children. They said, You will teach us what your father taught you. So we'll make it if you see what this family does, grandchildren summit. In the kingdom, all our children, woman. we are bringing our children into God's kingdom now that we are alive. She knows some of the time when I'm going for technology. She was on the other two for today. This is a meeting, Shamundo. We will do a meeting, an internet meeting. I'm going to look what to go match anywhere you are with your family. Shut you because the person on the same. We are asking God that if He will show us mercy, that, that no seed that comes out of our Father should go to hell. Even our own children that we are teaching them now, we are telling them, even when they, their own time of giving birth comes, they should hold this up even to 10th generation. It's an agenda. That none of us in our family go to hell in our father's family. What are you doing, you? Can you tell us so very for me? The family God has family God has given to you. What inheritance do you want to leave them with? She is a No, we just live, we just be like us rich. No. I was about you like what's in the same mommy out. If we are calling our mama and mama out, that's a work. Shamba yasin. That's a level on a Masha on ba on wasin. And our children's children. By the grace of God. Sham Lumu Sham. Is it here now? Seba by him by yes. By the grace of God. So only the one who over five years. Children, children, we didn't know the Lord. But since the one who are like near is a woman, and our desire is to put that in them now that we are alive. So we will do and to do matimu kishima. You would have been challenged to be near today. You need to call our number. Go back and gather them back. Shall we? Shall we know it? As you pray, bring them in your prayers. The way you are, what you are doing now, I don't even if you look as if they are, they are spoiled, bring them to Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. There was a man that epilepsy was disturbing him. Jesus took his three disciples to the mountain. They now we are at the bottom of the the man, the, 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 the man brought his child. This one, clean spirit, started beating that child. Another, the, the, the disciples were looking for means to cast out that devil. There was no way. No way. Jesus now returned. This man ran to Jesus and said, 
My son is in trouble. I brought him to your disciples that they should cast out the devil. They couldn't. Jesus was annoyed with his disciples because of lack of uh, you know, faith. But I want to give you a good report. Jesus said, Bring that church to me. Hallelujah. Amen. I don't know what your children are passing through. Whether you are moved from one prayer house to another or any worse thing happening. Whether you are beat them. You have suffered them. You, you know, you punish them. Conclusion. You put pepper in their eyes. You, re you deny them of food. It, as that character did not stop. This evening. Bring them to Jesus. Amen. That child was brought to as the child was brought to Jesus. Oh my God. That child did not go by the same way here. Today I'm giving you this comfort. That your stubborn son. And you have already said this one, there's nothing you can do about it. Bring him to Jesus. That child will not remain the same in Jesus. There's a hope that one was such. That they spoil and stubborn child. You look as if there's nothing you can do about it. You look as if he doesn't even sleep at home. The stubbornness is so powerful. I can see sometimes people take their children to vigilante. Pity him. Even when they beat, you if you bring him to Jesus, there must be a chance. Hallelujah. Amen. What you say, you say? Bow down your heads as we pray. One minute. Bring that child to Jesus. One a minute tomorrow. Bow down Jesus. Bring that your child to Jesus. Call his name. Even if they are ten, bring them all to Jesus Christ. Father, tell him. My children are bringing to you. You say you will not cast any out. What they cannot do on their children, what they are able to do, Lord, do on their behalf. Hear the cry. Accept the prayers. Thank you for answering prayer. This is what you want to say. In Jesus' name we pray. Maybe you are here. You are an ostrich, you know, a parent. That's how you have left your children. You left them with this world. And are anything they, they want to do to your children, that is it. Amen. 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 But today is a day of mercy. Amen. And you are saying, God, Amen. I heard your word. I am repenting of this. Amen. Today, Lord, Amen. I am repenting. I am repenting. I will go back and pick my children. If you are here like that, just lift your hand up. Let me see your hand. Pray for you. And there will be a miracle at home. If you want to get a miracle, that's all. That even you, you are saying you go back and pick up. Your children are not here. Even you are saying you go back and pick up. Even you are saying you go back and pick up. Even you are saying you go back and pick up. Even you are saying you you are outside, stand up as a prayer. You are telling God that God, I have, I have done an outreach work. But I'm repenting this evening. Show me mercy. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. I bring those prayers before you, Lord. As I beg you, Lord. I'm kneeling. They don't. They, they, they are not aware. Mm -hmm. the, the, the entrance of your word gives light. 
quelqu'un. Lord, do something on this. Put this work back into the house. So as the rest said to go back, they will pick their children. And they will bring them to you. And they will cling to them. How much any earth that is lay and is thrown to the world, we are praying, O Lord, bring it to the bosom of the church. The power in, in the power of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We thank God so much for showing us his message. Even in our ignorance, he chose to show us mercy. To open our eyes. To discover what we have not known. We parents. Father and the mother. As we have agreed to give birth to our children, that's the same way we will agree even on the on the fundamental teaching that the doctrine, the real doctrine. Everything has its own time. But some of us, we did not start on time. We just started now. There is a time if we start this teaching on our children, it will work. But if we don't do it on time, a time will come that even if we teach them, it won't work. We go to, we open our Bibles. So I want to see now. So I do put Trata, she said, Who can I meet you? No, so I do need my time. One thirty one is some one thirty nine. We are going to read from sixteen. From verses sixteen. So we read only verse sixteen. Okay. Asheo Nege Jena Wambiya. Ma Ingea Kera Mapra Wuchi. Ta Yange Vani Bere Mo Atira. Isumu Yange Mo. Verse 16 said, Thine eyes did see my substance, yet being unperfect, and in thy book all my members were written, which is a continuous, which in continuous were fashioned, when as yet there was none of them. Remember, Verse 4 and 5 of Jeremiah chapter 1. Then the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Before I firm thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou comest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee. And I ordained be a prophet unto the nations. 
before the child will come out of the womb, God has already known the purpose. He has known that child right from the womb. Even in this Jeremiah, it's the same thing that the Bible said in verse 5 that before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou comest forth out of the womb, I sanctify thee. It's the same thing that say. These two scriptures are showing to us that even before a child is formed, God has already known the child. Therefore means that we parent right from the womb, as our children are still in the womb, we will start teaching them right there. The Bible says, any man born of woman is born a sinner. So now, since the, right from the womb, we we'll start, we we'll start the work on their lives right in the womb. So when they were giving this teaching sometime, we ask, if you are speaking to that child, how will she, how will he or she hear? We are not speaking for the child to hear, but we are speaking to God concerning that child so that right there, God will start his work on him or her. It's in prayers. When you discover you are conceived, right from that time, you start praying on that pregnancy. You will be telling God, you will be telling God concerning that child. As we are seeing this word spoiled. That the child God is forming in our womb should come out different. It's God that changed the path to good. So as we are telling him, God knows how to you know, handle that child. If God help us and we do this, we will not both stubborn children or wayward children. But for those of us who are ignorant about this, they are giving us, you know, confidence. But it's not another thing, but the same prayer. When you discover you are conceived, that's the time you should be speaking to God concerning that child. Bringing that child to God. You will put your hand on your belly and be speaking good, good things on that child. And you will be prophesying the thing the child should be. Even you as a father is Even as fathers, if you want to bring a child that will be, you know, useful before God, right from that time you should be talking to that child and be praying for the child right in the womb. 
Masi hi ula mana be hi hi ya hi kulo yao. Mwo wese na ba uba male ya makuwa kuliga u. Baki hi pepe pesi hi tonde na iluwa lonse kikulo yae. Nanda do uba male nje uhi la mana kuwa na huwa. E wanu wase baki mitu uba bilwa falianga. Baki fu yishi se atuba ni mo atuba je kalo wose ipokiji. Na wata sambi na se wase la. Kipo bo ajiri kila na la dia na uhi la mana atu yana tuwa nje chuhi utese na. As you pray for them in the womb and you are giving birth to them now, you will be talking to them even at tender age. You know, sometimes when the child is sucking the mother's breast and bite it, when you slap them like this, they will look at you like this and stop. Because the old man in them tells them that what they are doing is evil. So when you slap them, they stop. So right from that time, you will be talking to them and they will listen. We go to the book of Luke, chapter 1. The book of Luke, chapter 1. If you for carrying him up for a time, go around. Who do I am, be I sang with you, pa. Yo, bisiwe aembe, cha mana. Kadi ya unaluzeke u, cha shiti te, unatuwe wain, kuanzano ba, unai achi ya dijingi, e unalungona kenu yade. Luke one fourteen fifteen. And thou shall have joy and gladness, and many shall rejoice at his birth, for he shall be great in the sight of the Lord. And shall drink neither wine nor strong drink, and he shall be filled with the Holy Ghost, even from his mother's, from even from his mother's womb. This was a prophecy that was said concerning John when he was in his mother's womb. I don't trust that if we start praying to them when they are in a womb, something must change. There must be a positive result. As they were telling us that even as you go to heaven, your children will be crying in hell and, and calling you. This would have been this should have been a challenge on us that we start laboring our children right there in the home so that they will not go to hell at last. When I heard that issue of Abraham, I cried. Your father's father, you'll be calling him in hell. Everybody said hmm that time because it was so touching. It was so fearful. We must start work. In our churches today, they will just leave their children. They, 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 the parents are inside the church. The children are busy, you know, parambulating on the streets. But we go and go and see the Maya. The whole thing is done. So I know what the yalla. But if we are so challenged about this, we will start this work from home and then come to the church. But if we are so challenged about this, we will start this work from home and then come to the church. Those of us in the church, even if we are not giving birth to any child, those children in the church are, there, are your children. So many churches don't know this child training. Because 
That we, you know, uh, we mothers, this responsibility is our own because we know how we suffer with them right from the womb. And when you are giving birth to them, they shit on your body, they urinate on your body, you suffer with them, so you know the pains. So we must start with them early. So we say, I don't know how to train my children. If you are challenged on this, you will first pray, and if you pray, God will not show you how to handle your children. You can see that the, the, the Muslims. I, I, I even better than those of us who say we are Christians. You see that you know, small, 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 small like this. You see the way they train their children. They just gather them, they're training them. In fact, that they don't joke with that training at all. The Muslims. Even if you don't know any other thing, but you know how to read Bible, just gather them, be, you know, be reading Bible for them, and let them be repeating it, and this thing will be in their head. That's why it's always very difficult to, you know, to change a Muslim to be a Christian. Because they, they, their teachings is full in their heads. They don't know any other thing than that. If we must teach our children, there are times, there are seasons. We go to Deuteronomy chapter 6. Deuteronomy chapter 6. Verse 4 to 6. Yeah, <laughs> We are reading verse 4 to 7. Hear, O Israel, the Lord, our God is one Lord, and thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy might. And this words which I command thee this day shall be in thy heart. And thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children, and shalt talk with them when thou sittest in thy house, and when thou walkest by the way, and when thou liest down, and when thou risest up. Ashi as <laughs> Luna on the Wasila, Manala as <laughs> Lamina Villa, you're hungry, hungry. The time we stay with our children and the discussion we discuss with them, these things are very, very important. You are saying, Papa Silu Lamina Visha, Poma Pinda, and Giti, and Ria, and Shakunda Nan, Zam Yang, and when he ya, Giti, and when the Bahi Yaya, and Papa Poka, and one one at the Maku Pumba again. 
Utu mabe na hatu lu wang kwa kila na yo. Alweli ya viti ya, di toon pati danya ga, di toon huo danya ga, di toon kwa wanu wo gene wo wiyala, ba danya ga, olon we wang wo ga. Kwa wanu wo lu na ya, kem kane ma ondu, ulu wang ke umo na ye. Sina lu omu zana na hikuwa mkuda, sina luwe, nima yeme kasuwa. Hama ti iti, si kwa langu tese moye, ba kwa wanu wa se mba, ba lu cha ba se ga, ba lu jela ba se. Whether on the road, at home, in the market, in the farm, anywhere you are with your children, be teaching them the word of God. Don't discuss people with them. Don't do any other thing with them. Discuss the word of God with them. And that will help them to live exactly as you want them to live. <laughs> Sifa yu, mamba yemba, wano wase mba mba na nye chenda, hapi mbuzo ni nabiga, alama kuru lama na sifaga, wada mwa kila nara, sifaga. Sometimes we leave these our children to be selling on the road. We don't know the friends, the type of friends they are keeping. We don't know the type of people they are relating with. We just leave them like that. Piko tene, na anupati ubazi uwe kuo vye unabibu wayo. As they sell on the road, they may enter into a wrong hand. And the, the person may, you know, defy your, your, your daughter or defy your, 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 your child. Nancy Nigger, this people also get it to As we are read in the Deuteronomy, and they said that whether on the road, whether you are sitting down, whether you are lying down, be teaching your children. Therefore, it now shows me that, that your child should be very close to you. Where's the Now, you know, you can't remember, Mara and Bane, a day, Mango, a man, a hand. Cafe, a couple of six to have a show, the same by us, a party. At you, my efficient, even the average by your man, eh, more. Even by no so far, but Cassa Jacopo or Longa, but I'm going to watch an anger at day. But no so, but she will work and the gala, even balloon, now I'm going. Now, cheaper, oh, my little will look there, I look to watch a yak, my shang watch even by a father. I've got been out of words at the honey, hungry, hungry. That's with the same by a shall work with Ganigani. Like I said, the, the husband and the wife must join the their heads together in training those children. Even though many, many times the children may be very close to the mother, mother, the father. Even the boys, sometimes when they are young, they are very close to the mother than the father. But normally when they grow up, they will be with their father. But the both should join their heads together in training their children. Because if the father will leave the training in the hand of the, the wife alone, the children may grow homes. Because they fear the father more than the mother sometimes. Judges chapter 13. Judges 38 to, to, to 16, right? Okay, 8 to 13, that is 13, 8 to 13. So, who are you? So, man, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, Mula, ashi ya vahira vese, avawa wase kwa, nse, avwa na kiriki, uwa mala. Sondo uwa, ime manuwa, na haa uchomu, uchomu hondo, si vahen kwa sela. Itumu wa tema ken uwoyo, pa nona manuwa yo, uwa na hega. Na haa kwa sela, mo fese, da yen, ka nona, eh, nenge, uru yenge vahira mula, si ya vahira. 
aendelea mwe. Sema manu wa moro, dondo cha kwa sana. Bahe ola, hine umwe. Kwa uwe yange, uwa kwa kwa sana. Kwa sana ne, haka e, kamo. Sema manu wa kaana e. Izumu kwa oru mkwa una bakuri, chamiyo. Kwa hama, nja mkwa, sekura uwa anshono. Matona ya, alu nitomo. Ushomu sera kama manuwa e. Kwa unka kwa sene chi, aveshi mashami. Vers 18 to, I sorry, vers 8 to 13. Then, Manwa entreated the Lord and said, O oh my Lord, let the man of God which thou didst send, send come again unto us and teach us what we shall do unto the child that shall be born. And God hearkened to the voice of Manwa. And the angel of God came again unto the woman as she sat in the field, in the field. But Manwa, her husband, was not with her. And the woman made haste and ran and showed her husband and said unto him, Behold, the man hath appeared unto me that came unto me the other day. And Manwa arose and went after his wife and came to, ma came to the man and said unto him, Are thou the man that speakest unto the woman? And he said, I am. And Manwa said, Now let the words come to pass. How shall we order the child? And how shall we do unto him? And the angel of the Lord said unto Manwa, Of all that I said unto the woman, let her beware. Here they are showing us this man, Manwa and his wife. In verse 8, Manwa made a prayer to God and said, Then Manwa entreated the Lord and said, O oh my Lord, let the man of God which thou didst send come again unto us and teach us what we shall do unto the child that shall be born. Manua was Come to us, including his wife. That teach us what we shall do. no The wife and the husband has a responsibility. They have something to do on their children. Yeah. Don't leave one person with the, the training of the children. They will be spoiled. That is why God knows that and He ordained the twelve. I mean, sorry, He ordained the two to train their children. Sometimes when the children discover that when they go to their their father, they know that their father will not tolerate any nonsense or you know all this kind of nonsense. But if they now discover that their mother, anytime you just say something, she will allow you to go and do, they will always be going to their mother. They won't go to their father. And they always they do know that sometimes when you tell there are some things you tell your father and your father will say no. But if you tell your mother to go and tell your father now, your father will agree. So they will come to the mother and say, go and tell daddy, this is what I want him to do for me. And we mothers, we must be careful. Our eyes must be open. 
if the, your children know this kind of a thing, they will be going to you, not to their father. Yes, if you have a mother, no more. Since you are told to have a mother, she will go to the father. If you have a mother, I don't come to the father. I don't come to the father. I don't come to the father. You know, like me and my husband, we agreed to train our children, but that my children know that my no is no, and my yes is yes. So many, many times they will go to, you know, my husband, that's to their father, and they will not tell their father. And the father will not say, okay, I've had you, but let me go and tell your mother. If she agreed, then that will be done. So anytime they say it like that, they know that it's impossible. That thing will not happen. The last for the day. in our home, you know, in our house, and they're celebrating, we will, we will tell them not to go. So we don't allow them to, to go in our house to keep bad friends. So this time, she came for holiday, that they are four, that they are friends. And so they were going for, for this match. And she now came to me and said, Mommy, I want to go and watch ball. She want to go and watch ball. So I said, no, don't go. And she was now asking me, what is wrong watching Bob? Because she's grown up now. And she knows that she can ask that question because, uh, you know, she also is grown up now. So I said, there's something bad in watching Bob. You don't know it now. But we will know. That is why we will not allow you to go. So I said to her, she, she persisted. And I said, go and tell your father. You, uh, you know, when I now said that, she just touched my, my, my shoulder and just left. She went and slept. She did not even go for that match again until the people close from there. Now, 
We don't take that. So there are these recent dance that that is, is rampant in our side. Young girls, girls of 15 years will be dancing naked. And you have to cover something. You have to pay money to see nonsense, to see nakedness. So people will be going, their children will be going. Some, some parents will even be telling their children that if you go, don't come back in the night to uh, come back around 10. Around 10, you should be at home. So we don't. We don't, in our own house, we train our children and we don't allow them to go out like that. So we must train our children. You watch over them. When they're sleeping, you are not sleeping there with them. But you sleep. Sometimes you go and check on them. You continue checking on them. You train them so that they will not be spoiled. And you join hands together with your husband to do that. But I'm going to tell you what I'm going to say. Romans 2. Okay. Romans 219. Romans 219. Romans 219. Gadia, Ungua, Mfasu, Papa, my Mimi, Penatini. Naha, where would they say, Pagane, Ukrat, they say, Yo Yoga, 
Praise the Lord. The last thing. Children comes home to in two ways. Are you clear? If you are not clear, I say you are not clear. Let me explain more. On number the way they come, some come with their head, some come with their legs. But they are, they are, still, they are children. Since they are under your care, they are children. They are your children. When, when women are pregnant, when you go for, when you want to deliver, they are the one you are giving birth to is it head that will first come? Yeah. The child will come to the world through his head. Bagendeo. So you have to bring them. They use their legs, their feet to come. I brought him. Those are the ones that came. Bala, they are food. Baka ono. Those ones too are children. Yes, Not only those that came with their head. Bashanga hama. Even those by foot, they Even are also. They are Since they are under your care, Baonu. they are children. Bala, 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 bala. Even those ones too, God will ask you something about them. I committed this child to you. For you to raise him up. I'm trusting that we we'll go back and pick that work in Jesus' name. What are the consequences if we don't train our children? And that you look at you put your time. We're so glad If you don't want to open, don't open. I know you are tired. Why he if you don't train your own child, you just leave it like that, that child will put you to shame. The first person that will get this shame is the mother and father. So I will train one year. If a okay. child is a Nangayo, Ansaka, you can look at child in me who put out child. Proverbs 29, Proverbs 29, 15, verses 15. The rod and reproof give wisdom, but why you do pain and toil? But a child left to himself bringeth his mother to shame. You will not know it today. You had a news last week on radio. Huh? I don't know whether you had it. One no, so. There was this boy that was not trained. He, he, his mind, in fact, he, that boy, you can't control him. It's terrible. They taught him how to get money. He ended his mother to, to go to farm. In the plan, she might want to go to Sumio. Kuyan wanted to his plan, what they taught him. The corn on a tiny kitchen in Yavami. That boy raped, you know, his mother right in the farm. Umane Kunya. Hear that shame. Why he rod? But Saha. And reprove, give wisdom. That child, you are just saying, eh? you, are, you are leaving him like that to That is the first reason why we must train them. So many mamas, 
children. Because of the misbehavior of their children, they will think and think and overthink. So you These four people I want to discuss them. That they will suffer shame and parents. The second, the children themselves. You think it's the parent you are suffering. The children of Eli also were, 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 were displaced. They, they died untimely. So even when we train Nanga, even the child that is not trained himself, he is in trouble. The third ones that shame and terrible things are wait for is the church. If we don't train our children, there is no hope for church tomorrow. The church will be put to shame. If we go to Europe, in Europe, in Europe, in Europe, you will see in a church, you will see only old men and old women. Where are the young people? They are less concerned about God. Most churches. Are you into a Christian? In Europe. In Europe. They have sold them. They have sold them into, you know, playboy. Everybody is less concerned about God. There are, there are places where they watch films. So even church, even church, we see this shame. If our children are not trained, tomorrow there will be no church. They must Painful aspect of everything all is our our world. The whole world, the world will destroy. It's destroyed. I will If our children are not trained, we don't have hope for future. even government How which even government have had this? Now, different terrible things are coming left and right. Now, even in school, if you if you if you, if you kill a child, that teacher will be judged, or his body of judgment. You hear the things that alone none If you just shout at the child, but not our police. That child will bring police for you. Take a child abuse. The other way will not want you. Church. Because. We say church. Church will say your door. We have left God's teachings. Before this finish us. We must rest off from this meeting. And do something about our children. She says so many words. We will we will prepare seed for God tomorrow. If there is no seed we kept, church, church we have no food church tomorrow. I pray God stop that in Jesus name. I do pray that the things God has helped you to hear in the course of this meeting, they should build your hearts and give you a work. Don't just hear for hearing's sake. Well, we'll marry you. If I parent, but no man go and the, the, the wife and the husband are alive. Yeah, then the, he go home and start this work on your children. Mm -hmm. Go show us mercy on this. You do it by killing emotion. And the church should rise up. People will just be in the church. And it, no work. Don't say by the, the work of teaching children, you must not go for university. You must not be, you know, educated. 
is, is a burden. If God throw a you know an ox a burden in your heart, that me I want to take the responsibility of training God's children. And I challenge pastor's wives. She must saw cast my part of the um Tim is a do. Um Tim is a do. Tim a do. I'm challenging pastor's wife. Please, Take this work. Responsibility. Don't just see Shaba that you are testing your pastor's wife. Go and do uh, you know uh, uh, children's work. All these things my wife is have known is through that. That is what has helped our home. You know, son of me. I do pray that. You should not just go and be a big woman over children. Collect, take this with a strong heart. That is why I desire to pray for some people. Some people are going to burn up what I that as I leave this program, I will not just be, be idle. Even me, I must do something. Even my children, I will set them, I will prepare them for the return of Jesus Christ. It's not only for the adults. Even the children, Jesus is returning for them. We don't want them to be wasted. If you agree with me as we pray, if God have, uh, you know, have dropped this burden in your heart, that even you should rest up for children, such people will be prayed for. And such women will be prayed for. So that this work does not die in our hands. We rise as we pray. Swando. Just thank God. Thank Him for opening our eyes for this today. Some, you know, some years are in the church. It's you that's, that's supposed to help this also. Not only in choir you will sing, but even you, you, you can assist. In training the children. Because Satan has thrown this so plenty. He want to, he want to go with multitude of people. Children to hell. Why would our children go to hell? We are talking of heaven. God, do something about this. Open your mouth and pray. May God help you to receive this work as a man, as a you know, as a parent. The children you have at home, even those that are related with you, it is high time we rise up for children. It, it is high time we, we we show them and we show concern. We are learning and the devil is taking advantage. Why will, why will, why will you leave the children um, to be destroyed? May God show us mercy. Thank you, Father. In Jesus Christ's name. Maybe you have heard this and you are caught to heart. And you are asking this question, how will I start? To start that God, I accept this thing you have brought. If a such, you know, a parent, a, a man, come forward. My heart is bleeding. Why will these children be destroyed? Okay, yeah, God, I say. One man tell us, told us. I do on by in the high and I went to where you are gay. A children's church like this, how, how can we raise offering? Can you hear how we are thinking? How terrible we are thinking? Is it, because, is it money or lives? 
God has ministered to your heart. That even you, you will help. Those of you who have come forward, please. It's a great task we are receiving from the Lord. We want to tell heavens that we will accept this. We will start from our homes. We must look on the church and the entire world. We will gather, I will gather children and I will teach them to, to, you know, to, to read the word of God. We will train you that are people who will teach you how to teach children. Even if we want that, these people will come. I'm so know what you're here, God. But you, I want you to pray. Accept before God that God gives me your grace. That even me, I should rise for this. Open your mouth and pray. If you are not aware of this, as a parent, but today, may God trust you that even you, you have laid eggs for God. Thank you, Father. So on. In Jesus' name, we pray. Continue to see some. I'll be calling our brother, Brauke. One for please, brother is a Hussein Maleo Mahashikite. Please come and pray for us and commit these people to God that it will be the beginning of the revival labor among the children. When he, when he finished the prayer, he will now pray for all of us. I want you to repeat after me. So we keep him saying a bit here. Tell me about how. Father in heaven. On the Kumasha. Most I God in heaven. On the Kumbachi. Here I come. Give you my hand up to you. Asking you to release grace unto me. Son of Gomez, Nam to Musha, more essential, so that I will take responsibility. Shall you make to our tone or bring you the children that you give me? Vana by him, Bobby and Hakian. Lord, give me the grace. Lord, Nam to Musha, more, so that I will treat you to the glory of your name. And you may tone her to achieve it to you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, yes. Amen. Amen. Father, thank you for all the people that are out. Lord, I pray, I they pick up to you and asking that you will give them the grace. So that as they take responsibility, their grace will help them. Their grace will guide them. Their spirit will direct them. So that they will train up their children in the way they should go in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray that all these things they tolerated in the past, they will take a stand for righteousness. Do it that your name will be glorified. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.